How much longer do we have to wait? From the depths of my memories, the echoes of laughter and dreams blend with the haunting silence that now envelops me. It's in these quiet moments, the stillness of a grieving heart, where my thoughts linger on Icarus, my son, whose spirit was as boundless as the sky he yearned to conquer. I remember the glint in his eyes, filled with wonder and insatiable curiosity, as we stood together, gazing out at the vast expanse of the sea. His dreams were of flight, of exploring lands beyond our sight, touching sands of distant shores. I can't wait to see the world, Father, the beaches we will visit, the lands we will feel under our feet. How much longer do we have to wait? Not long, Icarus. As soon as I finish the labyrinth, I promise you we will set off to visit the world. I wonder how it feels to see the world from above. These birds are so lucky to be able to fly. It certainly must be beautiful. Promise me we will leave the moment you finish the labyrinth. I promise you. Dear Daedalus, so good to see your face. How is the labyrinth coming along? Crete is plagued by a beast not of this world, a minotaur born of my wife's folly and the god's curse. It threatens not just our island, but my reign. Daedalus, you are tasked with containing this monstrosity. Finish that labyrinth as soon as possible. I cannot deal with this any longer. Each night I struggle to sleep as I'm afraid that beast will find its way to my bedroom and kill me. If you don't finish this in two days, I will have your son fed to the beast. Your Majesty, the labyrinth has been completed as per your request. You have saved my reign. You have saved Crete. You truly are a master. However, the knowledge you possess is a threat to the security of my kingdom. If there's one thing I have learned throughout the years and what my own paranoia has taught me is that you can never trust people. Daedalus, your genius casts a long shadow. In the blink of an eye, or for the right price, you might turn your talents against me, crafting a masterpiece not of wonder, but of my downfall. For the safety of Crete, you and your son will be confined within the walls of this city under my gaze. Escape shall be but a dream. You and your son will be locked in the highest tower. I designed a prison no man could escape. Little did I know, I was building our own prison, Icarus. I'm sorry. I can't spend my life here, Father. I want to see the world. I want to experience different seas. I want to touch different sands. You promised me that once the labyrinth is done, we will start our journey to see the world. If I can't leave, I will have to end my life, for I cannot be a prisoner my whole life, Father. I yearn to see the world, but not from this damned tower. I will get us out of here, Icarus. Just be patient. Look where patience got us. Give me a week. I promise you we will leave this place soon. 
If we can't escape by walking out of here, then I will build us wings that will carry us to a land where freedom awaits. With these wings, we will be able to escape Icarus. Icarus, heed this warning as you take to the skies. Soar not too near the sun. Our wings, though they bear us high, are made from fragile wax. Should you venture too close to the sun's fiery embrace, these wings shall betray you, and you will plummet from the heights, falling to a tragic death. I won't. I will fly low and avoid the sun's heat. Please, Icarus, remember this. If we are both in flight and you approach the sun, I can't help you from falling. Yes, father. This is our moment, Icarus, our path to freedom. Your Majesty, Your Majesty. What is it? Master Daedalus and Icarus are escaping. Send soldiers after them. No, that man can bring doom to our kingdom. Keep steady. Not too high, Icarus. Yes, father. Not too high, Icarus. Remember, it is not safe. I'm not getting to close, father. Icarus, come down, please. Father, let me just see where is the limit. Icarus, no. Father! Icarus! Tell me, did you catch them? Your Majesty, tragedy has fallen upon Daedalus. His son Icarus flew too high to the sun, and his wings failed him. He died in the arms of Poseidon. I thought Daedalus would be the end of me, but it turns out his ambition and genius crafted the very wings that threw his son into the sea. In our ambition we dared to touch the divine, but it was Icarus who soared, if only for a moment. May we never forget the price of our reach. <laughs>